Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Todd. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT, Yo. they announced that they're doing a Super Mario RPG remake. Really? Yeah. How do you feel? About, did you play the first one? No. <laughs> Why would you bring this up then? Because I know it's good and people like it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, Jonas, is that I actually played super mario no i played paper mario yeah paper mario was bomb and i know it was taken inspired by or inspired rpg you, you know what i want i want a game like borderlands with mario characters so like a uh free roam what do you call that player progression skill tree based type thing yeah mario like characters? like you can be mario luigi princess and toad okay and you have a skill tree like three different skill trees and you run around and you get like different weapons and like whatever and it, you're like fighting all the mario animals and Anim villains, villains. <laughs> or henchmen yeah i guess they are all animals though really it's kind of like a peter wet dream um <laughs> yeah i don't know I, hot take man is that when i think of a mario game it does not like I love Nintendo, okay? I recently just bought a Switch. You did, but um, not for Mario. TT, TT, okay, coming to the channel soon. Only if you know, you know. You would have had to listen to this particular podcast to even know that, but it is coming. It might already be out by the time. I've, I, it might be. I've had so much fun in other Mario IPs, but I have to say is that at where I am now in my life looking, when I think of a Mario IP, I'm not like, I'm not running for that. They could come out with Mario World 4. And I ain't, I ain't playing it. There's a new Mario, a new Mario RP, oh, what do you call that coming out? The Mario Wonder. Is it a 2D side scroller? No, it's like the uh, the, the new Mario World. It's a new Super Mario. Oh, like Mario 3D? Yeah, it's 3D Mario. Where he like the one where he had the hat, the one where Rosalina, not Rosalina, Rosalina. I don't know. There's like a thousand like Mario bitches now. <laughs> the freaking one who sings the song. Either way, there's a new Mario coming out, Mario Wonder apparently, because and they just did a Nintendo Direct. I did hear about the Mario RPG, and it, it, honestly, that's probably a, a better fit for me than like a, a Mario RPG. Yeah, dude. Like I played like Mario World 3D, yeah. and like. <clears throat> I would play it in a party atmosphere with four players. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. like, I, I, am I just going to hang out at home and play Mario World 3D by myself? Probably not. It's just that it's, it's it feels like it's geared towards children. I um, mean, it is. It is, but it's also geared towards the nostalgic. And uh, while I have some degree of nostalgia because... I'll age myself a little bit. Yeah, I played the original Mario on an, on a regular Nintendo. Yeah, like I had a regular Nintendo. We all have I, a soft spot for Mario. Exactly. Mario sixty four was one of the greatest games I've ever played and beaten, dude. You know when I was a kid. Now I'm not a kid, and I don't necessarily know if I want to like jump around in a freaking cat suit, dude. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Now, I will admit that Mario Maker was a cool yeah, idea. Yeah, I have Mario Maker 1 for the Wii U. That was a cool... But again, I'm too grown. I don't have anybody to play my levels. Like, if I had people come over, like, let's make a level, see who can create a level that's, like, the uh, best level that whatever, and you're used, screwing around, like, whatever. You use the internet for that. You, yeah. just po you post them up there and people... Mario like, Maker 2 probably is more interactive. The first one was a little more challenging to make that happen. Okay, see, I don't I don't, I don't, don't remember... I remember Mario Maker 1. I watched a lot of content on it, but I don't remember some of the limitations that it had. Mario Maker 2 does have a... Uh, Full integrated, like, web dev, download share. It's a, sort of. it's a lot better, yes. No, it's, do they have that for the Switch? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. See, that would be a game that, like, would be cool to have on Switch, I think. Like It is, it is. It's a little old now, and apparently they're not doing any more updates. They did an update where you can, like, be Link and uh, there's like a Mario 2. You can have like the Mario 2. So instead of like jumping on enemies and kill them, you can pick them up and throw them. Oh, nice. So that's kind of cool. Are they doing a 3? I don't think they are. I think that the second one did not sell well enough, and I don't think they're doing a 3. Yeah. Which I has mean, been very disappointing to the community because I'm kind of into that community a little bit. Being able to make your own Mario levels is kind of cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jonas would make all refreshing levels if you know, you know. I don't, what does that mean? It's a Mario Maker 2 meme. You got to know if you know you know. 
No, no. There's, is this I want to know. Is this what a is type it? of level that is kind of looked down on? Sorry. Oh, what, how, why is it looked down on? Oh, Jesus Give me the Christ. Tea. I am not talking bro. about Mario Maker 2 Bro, stuff tea right make now. me. I'm not. Tell me the tea, bro. <laughs> What's the refresher level? No, just look it up Just at tell home. me what it is. Just, I, we don't have to talk about it. I just want to know. Just, it's just dumb. <laughs> it's just dumb levels with like a lot of like uh, audio visual clutter. Um and people are like, oh, dude, it's refreshing. Oh, because it's but not a super hard try hard level. It's not even about the difficulty. It's just the visual and audio. Oh, like, I wouldn't vomit that. that's, that's on gross, the screen. Dude. That's through. gross. Yeah, yeah, it's just not look good on. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I've watched a lot of Mario too. But when I think of a Mario, I like honestly when I went and saw Mario movie, I was not like. Like I was like, okay, cool. I'll go and watch it. It's Mario, but it's out of nostalgia. It's not like out of childlike wonderment. It's not like out of like, ooh, I love these guys. I like Eeyore and Tweety Bird. I'm not. No, it's not nothing like that. You're I'm like, sitting wearing a Tweety Bird shirt right now. <laughs> wearing a Pulp Fiction shirt <laughs> that I need to get a new one of. Actually, that's yeah. an idea. But, so I don't know. I don't know Pulp if Mario's Friction like shirt. That's a different movie. Was that? Pulp Friction. Oh, that's a different movie. Yeah, You're absolutely. Wrong, Anyways, man. Mario. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if Mario's like a big draw for me. The movie was great. I yeah, will never I was, speak. I was pleasantly surprised. And I hear that the new Mario World games and new soups, I hear they're really well done. They look fun to play. I see some of the content on the Mario Makers. They look like it's fun to play. I just don't know if it's a draw for me. I need something with a little bit more edge. I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah, you I, are an edgelord. I mean, you only play Resident Evil and like uh, survival horrors. That's all you've I've ever seen you really play. And like, well, any, anymore. Yeah. I used to play all sorts of stuff. I only play that and uh, Monster Train. Yeah, exactly. Deck builders and horror games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know it's, it's so funny because I'm constantly on the lookout for deck builders for you. <laughs> yeah. And there's a couple that I've seen that are like, uh, there's like one that's like a it's friends versus friends. It's like a uh, it's like a shooter deck builder where you get like certain like guns that you can add to your deck or abilities or like a grenade or a oh, Molotov nice. or like uh and but it's all first person shooter so you're playing cards as you're doing a first person shooter on like these kind of like compact levels. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and it's like your other your opponent is playing cards and you can like throw a card and there's a turret up all of a sudden. You're like, "Okay, now I got to deal with the turret." And okay. So yeah, but that one does not look like something you would play. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't I play a lot. Like, I've, I, I do other things now. Exactly. That's I go fair. get social instead of play games now. That's fair. That's fair. And nothing that that's definitely probably a, a better use of your time. But I am on the lookout for something that you could like play. I know that you you are a more casual gamer, so I look for something that you know has like a, a forty five minute to an hour time loop. Something that you could like do. <laughs> While you're also looking through Reddit or not looking through Reddit, as the case may be, yeah, very soon for as you. I'm crying about Reddit not being around. <laughs> it's not going. In. It's gone, bro. It's <laughs> this is like the the Overwatch cancel PVE type thing. That was the day Reddit died when that got announced. It literally a piece of a piece of my heart just like crumbled. <laughs> Because you can't. It's look never at the gonna. App. It's not. This red is not the same now as it was that day. You're gonna have to click on it. Oh, that is very true. We're not talking about Reddit though. It's already gone, bro. Yeah, have you been to the Mario subreddit? No. It's that's like when you and your girl break up and you're like, well, maybe we can still hang out sometimes, you know? And it's like weird. And then like you're all like, but, but but then you're like, well, but you know, I really like the sex, so like we'll just we'll still hook up for a little bit, right? And then you're just like, God, I hate you. Why? This is why we broke up in the first place. It, that's what's happening with Reddit. This is uh, oddly specific. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just being an able. <laughs> oddly specific. No, but you know how people they're always like, oh, we break up, let's try to still hang out and bang. No, I don't know. I don't. I've never. You've been never stayed. You've never kept banging a girl after you broke up with her. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. And then yeah. eventually you're like, that doesn't work. This is not working. Like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Whoa, man. I had to think of one. <laughs> Look, I ain't proud of that one either. <laughs> So we ain't going to discuss that. Yeah, anyways, yeah. but that's all time we have for today's episode. Uh, go to thecrazynown.com for Jonas. Holy, man. Oh, my TNT. <laughs> we out.